I gotta ask you about love. I heard you're into this now. Into this love thing? Yeah. Is this, is, you think this is your solution to your depression? No, I'm just trying to, like you said, the enlightened people in a cage, I'm trying to sell a book. I'm writing a book about love. You're writing a book about no, love? No, I'm not. I'm okay. not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a friend of mine, he's got a, somebody said, you should really write a book about the, your, you know, your management philosophy. He said, it'd be a short book. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, that one was sold pretty well. Uh, what role do you think love, family, friendship, all that kind of uh, human stuff play in a successful life? You've been exceptionally successful in the space of like running teams, building cool shit in this world, creating some amazing things. What uh, did love get in the way? Did love help? Did family get in the way? Did family help? Friendship. You want, you want the engineer's answer? <laughs> Please. So, so like, first, love is functional, right? <laughs> it's functional. In yeah. what way? So we habituate ourselves to the environment. And actually Jordan told me, Jordan Peterson told me this line. So you go through life and you just get used to everything except for the things you love. They, they, they remain new. Like this is really useful for, you know, like, like other people's children and dogs and, you know, trees. You just don't pay that much attention to them. Your own kids, you monitor them really closely. Like, and if they go off a little bit because you love them, if you're smart, if you're gonna be a successful parent, you notice it right away. You don't habituate to, to just things you love. And if you want to be successful at work, if you don't love it, you're not going to put the time in somebody else as somebody else that loves it. Like, cause it's new and interesting and that lets you go to the next level. Um, so, so it's the thing, it's just a function that generates newness yeah. and novelty and yeah. uh, surprises you and all those kinds of <laughs> it's, it's really interesting. I mean, and there's people figured out lots of you know frameworks for this. You yeah. know, like like humans seem to go in partnership, go through you know interests. Like somebody suddenly somebody's interesting, mm -hmm. and then you're infatuated with them, and then you're in love with them, and then you you know different people have ideas about parental love or mature love. Like you go through a cycle of that, which keeps us together, and it's you know super functional for creating families and and creating communities and making you support somebody despite the fact that you don't love them like and and it can be really enriching you know now now in the work-life balance scheme if all you do is work you think you may be optimizing your work potential but if you don't love your work or you don't have family and friends and things you care about your brain isn't well balanced like everybody knows the experience of you worked on something all week, you went home and took two days off and you came back in. The odds of you working on the thing, you picking up right where you left off is zero. Your brain refactored it. Mm. But being in love is great. It's like changes the color of the light in the room. Yeah. It creates a spaciousness that's that's different. It helps you think. Yeah. It makes you strong. Bukowski had this line about love being a fog that dissipates with the first light of reality in the morning. That's, it's, that's depressing. I think it's the other way around. It lasts. Well, you, like you said, it's, it's a function. It's a thing that it generates. It can be things. the light that actually enlivens your world and, and creates the interest and the power and the strength and the to go do something. Well, it's like, like, like that sounds like. You know, there's like physical love, emotional love, intellectual love, spiritual yeah. love, right? Uh, isn't it all the same thing, kind of? Nope. You should differentiate that. Maybe that's your problem. In your book, you should you should refine that a little Is bit. It different chapters. Yeah, there's different chapters. What's the what's these are aren't these just different layers of the same thing or the stack? Uh, no. Physical people people some people are addicted to physical love and they have no idea about emotional or intellectual love. I don't know if they're the same things. I think they're different. That's true. They could be different. It'd be, it, I, I guess the ultimate goal is for it to be the same. Well, if you want something to be bigger and interesting, you should find all its components and differentiate them, not glom it together. Like people modular. do this all the time. They, yeah, yeah, the modularity. Get your abstraction layers right, and then you can you have room to breathe. Well, maybe you can write the forward to my book about love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or the afterwards. <laughs> and the afterwards. You really tried. <laughs> I feel like Lex has made a lot of progress in this book. But... Uh, well, you have things in your life that you love. Yeah, yeah. You know, so and they are. You're right. They're modular. It's it's quite well. And you can have 
multiple things with the same person or the same yeah. thing and yeah but yeah depending on the moment of the day yeah there's yeah. Like what Bukowski described is that moment you go from being in love to having a different kind of love. Yeah, right. Yeah, and that's a transition. Yeah. But when it happens, if you'd read the owner's manual and you, you believed it, you would have said, "Oh, this happened." Yeah. It doesn't mean it's not love; it's a different kind of love. But, but maybe there's something better about that. As you grow old, if all you do is regret how you used to be, it's sad, right? You should have learned a lot of things because. Like who you can be in your future self is, is actually more interesting and possibly delightful than, you know, being a, a mad kid in love with the, the next person. Like, that's super fun when it happens, but that's that's you know five percent of the possibility. <laughs> the, yeah, that's right. That there's a lot more fun to be had in the long lasting stuff. Yeah, or meaning, you know, if that's your meaning, thing. which is a kind of fun. It's a deeper kind of fun. And it's surprising, you know, that's like, like the thing I like is surprises, <laughs> you know, and you just yeah. never know what's going to happen. Yeah. But you have to look carefully and you have to work at it and you have to think about it. And, you know, it's, yeah, you have to see the surprises when they happen, right? You have to yeah. be looking for it. 